Hello then, how are you? I'm Clogs, that's my name. I am a cloud. As you can see, I am a rain cloud. Hey everybody, today we're doing a lazy lip sync tutorial. So, I'm hopping into Blender, I'm deleting all my objects. I'm adding a UV sphere, that's shift A mesh UV sphere. I'm then going to change my view just so I can line it up right by hitting one on the number pad and then the decimal on the number pad. We're going to make sure that we're on frame one and I'm going to hit I to insert a keyframe and select scale. Then using the arrow keys we're going to move over to frame 10. Going to hit S to scale the object and scale it up to around double its original size and hit I and then scale. Now if I hit shift left and then space we can play our animation back and we see it's just one time expanding outward. What you're going to want to do is insert your audio and if you don't have audio you can use this awesome program I'm using right now Audacity. Make sure you get your mic hooked up and hit the record button. Once you have that done, you can export your audio out. In this case, I'm going to use this nice voiceover intro from uh, Sweet Pea. Yes, the light fades and the darkness rises. Also, plug, uh, go check out my game Sweet Pea on Steam. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do... is change this window over to our graph editor. We're going to make sure we have all these points selected just by hitting A. I'm going to go up to key and select bake sound to F curves. We're then going to select our sound file so it's going to be wherever you saved it. In this case it's still in my Sweet Pea assets folder. Here we are. Alright, so these settings up here on the right actually have quite a bit of impact um, on the results you get. We're not going to mess with them right now, but I would just say that play around with them if you don't get the results you're wanting. Alright, so we selected just with the default settings, and you see we have our animation playing based on the actual curvature of the sound, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to right click and hit shade smooth and we're going to apply a material to it. I'm just going to make it black um, like it's a mouth hole pretty much. Going very basic but you can use this technique for um, a lot of different things. I'm going to hit shift A, add a cube in here and just line it up and build a quick little little cube face guy. I'm just moving this up by hitting G and then Z, and then I'm adding an additional UV sphere. I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees. Make sure it's shaded smooth just for fun, and stick it up here. And if I hit tab and go into edit mode, we can highlight these particular frames. Um, doing this by uh, hitting B for box select or not frames I apologize faces <laughs> and we can just add a new material and assign that new material specifically to those faces and make that black and we got some really quick basic eyeballs and with it selected I just hit shift D and duplicate it and now we've got a little talking cube guy. Now obviously based on your audio file and your animation that you're going to want, you're going to change your end to whatever it is. Um, 
and if you want to be able to hear it in there you can go up to video editing here and just drop your sound file right in there yes the light fades and the darkness rises building its forces and there we go we can hear our sound with it just to preview it and check it out so what we're going to do is with everything selected go up to file export fbx make sure selected objects is checked up here and I'm going to place it directly into my assets folder for my project and just name it whatever you want just make sure it has the FBX extension and because I'm putting it directly into my assets folder whenever I open up unity it's going to immediately be there for me so we're right here in our unity project I should have a cube guy FBX and this has everything built into it already alright so we're just gonna sit him in a decent spot and you see he has no animator so what I'm gonna do is hit control 6 and just create new name it whatever you want uh, this is essentially just to build in an animator for him for unity um, but also it you know it can act as a nice uh, base non animated point so in his original FBX you can see that he has an animation file and it, with him selected and we go to the animation tab uh, you can see our original animation that we just created if you just drag his animation file up there it might be named something different I'm gonna right click it and hit select as default and now he will automatically play that next up is audio so we go to add component audio audio source and then again we're just gonna drag our file directly into our assets gonna take that and drag it into audio clip make sure it's set to play on awake and in this case I'm gonna make it 3d so I'm gonna change this spatial blend and the rest of the settings should be fine uh, let's check it out it's really not even yes. worth my time. the light fades and the darkness rises <laughs> Building its forces, consuming the world. Yeah, so obviously it's a little goofy, but it works for basic things. Uh, it's great for if you're making a job simulator, uh, an accounting plus, something goofy, but you can apply it to 3D models like this as well. Just animating the jawline. So if this has been helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Take it easy, guys. Hello, love. I see you found the one ball for you. Didn't even know I talked, did you? Well, I'm here for you, baby. You just let me know anything you need. I got you. <laughs>